It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the AFC East. It's the Bills and Gang Green, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go on EA Sports. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And they'll be let out by the man running the show, Charles, their quarterback. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do, lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. Working with a second and four. Looking to throw. Ferguson. And Diggs has it. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw. Ferguson. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Looking to throw. Ferguson. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. They're giving up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here's second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw to the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. And they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw again. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. And out will come the leader of this offense. And that, of course, is their signal caller. 
I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to, and I think he really said it a few months ago, where he talked about he wants to have the type of season that at the end, he's buying gifts for all the guys who helped him along the way. And I know that the team wants to hold him to that and really get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season, because you've done a great job, QB, he's usually the guy who springs for the good stuff. On first down, McNeil, and he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The last run got six, now second and four. Off the play fake, Todd. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress. And I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. From the gun on third down. Time. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Here's the Jets punter now. As he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Back to throw. Ferguson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, Ferguson. And this is going to be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. The Bills send the punter out as he'll kick it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And to give this time to the tailback. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Well, there's 
plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, this shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Right back to him on first down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Looking to throw. Time. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. They'll run on first down. McNeil, he takes this for about six down inside the 40. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, McNeil. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they've got it with a first and 10. Back to throw. Todd. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. On second down now, McNeil. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. They definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Walker. And the Jets are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Here we go now on first and goal. 
from the gun. He'll hand this off. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second and goal from the one. He'll try again. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of four. Now third down. You can almost feel him thinking as he's running the football. Just one more block. Anything to get me to the perimeter. And around the corner. Couldn't quite get there. Ends up getting spilled for a loss. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Looking to throw. Todd. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. A great effort there. There to make the grab as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Point after, right down the middle. And that's the score. So, so that drive, 12 plays in length. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Buffalo offense back out, ready to go. They've had it twice. they punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting up third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? On first down, Ferguson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now. The new-school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw, Ferguson. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big game there for the Bills. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Looking to throw, Ferguson. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Yeah. 
Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Second and ten. They'll look to throw again. And his throw is incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal back to throw Ferguson and he is going to go down back to now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half Here's third and goal now, back at the 11. Looking to throw, Ferguson. Caught on the right side, Reed. The Jets are gonna use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. And now the field goal team on for Buffalo. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick here is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a Let's touchback, go. and they'll begin at the 25. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And with a 7-3 lead, we'll see how aggressive they want to be.
throwing on first down. Time. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Second and six, just inside the 30. Back to throw. Todd airing one out deep for Holmes here. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Smithfield on the before being taken down. It's a big play that time by the Jets. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Operating from the gun, Todd, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 29. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've hit. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. No run back here to begin the half, we and we will we start at the 25-yard line. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw, Todd. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. And defensively, they were in zone covers there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Going deep for Walker. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. 
hands it off out of the gun. And they do get this across midfield of the 49, but a small consolation prize as he's well short of the first. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Here's the Jets punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. And now trotting back out with the rest of his offensive mates, the big tight end. And some of his highlights here from this game, he's nearing 100 yards, partner. And defensive have worked so hard at how to try to slow down tight ends. It was a lot easier, partner, in the old days because when they just lined up on the line of scrimmage, you either put a defensive end or a linebacker over them and tried to body them so they couldn't get off the line of scrimmage easy. And now? Now, when they split out, detach from the line of scrimmage, <laughs> you put a linebacker out there, they're often too elusive for them, shake them and get into the secondary too easily before someone else can try and pick them up. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question. Let's go! Let's go! After review of the play, ruling on a field stand. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. And now here's a carry heading left. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. to throw. Ferguson looking left side and he's got a man. That's Harmon. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Third down, Ferguson. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. We're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. The Bills send the punter out as he's on here to punt it away. Taking it about the 16. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. New York's offense back out there and set to go. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. 
On first and ten, Todd. And this is going to be incomplete. But listen, when you've got the lead, there's absolutely no sense trying to fit a ball in where you shouldn't. You can see the coaching in his head taking place on that play because he saw he had a receiver in the area. He just put it well over his head out of harm's way. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Throwing again, Todd. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it does it, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Here's the Jets punter now, as he's on to kick it away. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Ferguson finding Knox there, complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. <laughs> to throw on second down, Ferguson. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw, Ferguson. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49, a gain of just two. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Looking to throw on second down. Ferguson, he'll let this go for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Back to throw. Ferguson. And that is incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. The Bills send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. 
And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the and he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Jerry Hughes. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Jet Football as they've got the lead here and we get set to begin quarter number four. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. They run the counter. McNeil, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball, punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. The Jets on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and 19. Looking to throw, Todd. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. And they'll get him down here at the 23. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here's the Jets punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Six-yard return after a punt of 48. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Play action. Ferguson. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And now some disagreement down on that sideline. The red flag is out, and we're going to get a challenge. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And i got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a... There we go. After review the play, moving on the field, so that challenge not successful there, and that's going to cost him the first of his timeouts.
They run the counter now on first down. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. A full three yards, and now it's second down. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Off the play fake, Ferguson. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the save. And run the safety on the play save. They still drop him for an eight-yard loss. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, Looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he didn't have a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. Yeah. 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 He needs better protection, that's for sure. The Bills on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and a mile. Back to throw. Ferguson. He's going to let this one go deep. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. The Bills send the punter out as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. The Jets offense now works their way back onto the field. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays, they're going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal? End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. We got this. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Two now. Here's first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. McNeil and yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On second down, McNeil. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Looking to throw. Time. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game.
So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. So the Bills now down 7-3. to three. And time, a huge factor. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drop for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Back to throw. Got an open man, it's Harmon. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43 yard line. That's where they'll take over. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. down McNeil and they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34 yard line now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play Keep it on the ground. McNeil. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Jets with victory seemingly in hand. They take the knee. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Jets with victory seemingly in hand. They take a knee. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeroes. And his kick is absolutely perfect. Pushed the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. 
Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium, that certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost felt like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defenses. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old.